in this session we are going to work on deleting the products here if i just show you when i click on delete button i should be getting this confirmation first when i click on cancel the product should not be deleted but when i click on okay the product should be deleted so now we are going to build the logic here inside this td tag we have already displayed our delete icon i will come to my project i will refresh this and this is the delete icon whenever i hover on this below you can see view products.php okay this is the file i am present so i am getting the same file name because i have not given anything inside this href so i will be redirected to same file now what i will be doing i will be creating one file delete.php save this and i am just going to create the file inside the main folder i will write delete.php now i will come here i will refresh my project now when i hover on this delete you can see below i am having shopping cart slash delete.php when i click on this i will be redirected to delete.php okay this is the first step just create the file and inside this href give file name control v to close the left panel now which product i have to delete the id which is present inside the database i have to delete that product so how can we get the id in our previous session we have already displayed for serial number we just have to write here row inside this we have to give the id the id will be displayed so in the same way now i just have to get that id so here we will write one question mark delete i am just creating one variable delete is equal to i will be writing the php code here let me just copy this entire thing and inside this i am just going to paste now here i will just write id i will save this this is the variable i created when i click on any product delete will be equal to that particular product id which is present inside the database now i'll come here now if without refreshing if i just click on delete button after delete.php i am not having any id now i'll refresh this one now when i hover on this below you can see delete is equal to 4 delete is equal to 5 delete is equal to 6 directly i am getting the data from the database basically the id from the database now when i click on this in url you can see i am having delete is equal to 4 only this product i have to delete so i should be having the id number only then i can delete so again if i click on this you can see delete is equal to 5 for each and every product we have different id numbers so using that id numbers we have to delete only that product so we have just access that id number whenever we click on delete button we are redirected to delete.php and we have just access the id present inside the database now before deleting the product we should be getting a pop up a warning saying are you sure you want to delete the item or not so for that we are going to use little bit of javascript here first let me just bring this icon down inside this opening anchor tag itself after this class i will be writing on click event whenever i click on this i just want to confirm that so here i just want to return return i will close this what i have to return basically i want to return the confirm dialog box i will be writing confirm inside this whatever you want you can pass the text i will just write here uh, are you sure i will use single quotes are you sure you want to delete this product and i am just going to write a semicolon i will save this what i have done we have used on click event which means whenever i click on that button this is just going to return this confirm dialog box with this message are you sure you want to delete this product 
let us check that one i will come now without refreshing if i click directly i am redirected to delete.php and the id is displayed now i'll just refresh this one now when i click on this delete button you can see i will be getting this confirmation box are you sure you want to delete this product if i click on ok i will be redirected to delete.php and i am having delete is equal to 4 if i click on cancel i will be in the same file view products.php if i click on delete i will be getting this confirmation when i click on ok only then i will be redirected okay these are the simple steps to get this confirmation box we are just writing this on click and we are returning this confirm dialog box and inside this href we have given the delete.php file and we are just getting the id from the database okay now once everything is sorted as soon as you click on ok the product should be deleted so the delete logic we will be writing inside delete.php file 